Jake Paul isn't stopping with Mike Tyson. He's already setting his sights on UFC's light heavyweight champion, Alex Pereira. Will this be his toughest challenge yet? In this video, we'll look at why Jake Paul, the YouTuber turned boxer, keeps going after big MMA names. Is it just about the money, or does he genuinely believe he can defeat someone of Pereira's caliber? Fighting Tyson is Paul. Could Jake's rapid boxing improvement be enough to survive against someone like Pereira? Stay tuned, because we'll be covering all the angles in this developing story. Don't forget to subscribe for updates as the buzz around this potential matchup continues to grow. All the information discussed in this video is sourced directly from the official Essentially Sports website, ensuring that the details are accurate and reliable. Jake Paul's pursuit of another MMA fighter, this time UFC light heavyweight champion Alex Pereira, follows a pattern in his boxing career. Since stepping into the ring as a professional boxer, Paul has built his reputation on fighting former MMA stars, such as Ben Askren and Tyron Woodley, rather than traditional boxers. This strategy has sparked both interest and criticism, with some questioning whether Paul is avoiding real boxers and others praising his boldness for taking on well-known fighters from different disciplines. His next target, Alex Pereira, direction, but also a significant leap in competition, Pereira, a 205-pound powerhouse known for his devastating knockout power, recently added another highlight to his career with a victory over Khalil Roundtree Jr. in a fight-of-the-night performance. Pereira's ability to generate immense force with his punches has made him a feared figure in both MMA and kickboxing. In fact, he holds the record for the hardest punch ever recorded, even surpassing former UFC heavyweight champion Francis Ngannou's record. Given this, the idea of Jake Paul wanting to fight Pereira may seem bold, if not outright reckless to many fans and analysts. But why is Jake Paul chasing another MMA fighter, especially someone as dangerous as Pereira? The answer seems to lie in a combination of factors. First, Paul has found a niche by fighting MMA stars in a boxing ring. These matchups have allowed him to gain widespread attention, as MMA fighters bring their own fan bases and reputations. In many ways, fighting MMA fighters has helped Paul bypass the traditional boxing route, where he would have to work his way up against lesser known opponents. By taking on high profile MMA fighters, he has managed to build a brand that consistently generates headlines and pay-per-view buys. Paul's confidence in taking on Pereira is further boosted by the fact that he believes his boxing skills have improved significantly over the course of his career. Despite being a relative newcomer to the sport, Paul has trained with experienced boxing coaches and has had several high-profile fights that have allowed him to test and refine his abilities. In his mind, Pereira's power, while formidable, might not be enough if Paul can outbox him with better technique and timing. The question of whether Jake Paul can stand a chance against UFC light heavyweight champion Alex Pereira has sparked heated debate among fight fans and analysts. On one side, Pereira is a seasoned striker with knockout power that has earned him a reputation as one of the most dangerous fighters in both MMA and kickboxing. On the other side, Jake Paul, the YouTuber turned boxer, has surprised many by winning boxing matches against former MMA fighters like Ben Askren and Tyron Woodley. But does Paul really have what it takes to go up against someone like Pereira in a boxing match? Paul himself is confident that he can beat Pereira in a boxing ring. During a live stream with kick streamer Aiden Ross, Paul stated, 1000% I'd beat him, pointing out that he sees weaknesses in Pereira's style that he believes he can exploit. Specifically, Paul noted that Pereira doesn't have a high volume output and seems to struggle with body shots. He pointed to Khalil Roundtree Jr.'s recent fight against Pereira as an example, where Roundtree was able to land some significant shots on Pereira, even though Pereira eventually dominated the fight. According to Paul, these holes in Pereira's game would give him an advantage in a boxing match. Paul is quick to admit that he would not stand a chance against Pereira in an MMA fight where Pereira overwhelming. However, Paul stresses that boxing is a completely different sport. The rules, pace, and style of boxing differ greatly from MMA, 
and Paul believes that these differences work in his favor. In MMA, fighters must divide their training among various disciplines like striking, grappling, and submission defense, while boxers can focus exclusively on their hands. This, Paul argues, gives him an edge in a purely boxing contest. Ultimately, whether Jake Paul can truly stand a chance against Alex Pereira comes down to a few key factors. Paul's advantage lies in his focus on boxing and the fact that Pereira would have to limit his skill set to boxing rules. If Paul can exploit Pereira's pace and potential weaknesses, particularly in defending body shots, he might have a shot. However, Pereira's elite striking and knockout power make him a formidable opponent in any fight, and Paul would face the toughest challenge of his career. A fight against Pereira would be a major test of Paul's boxing skills. Up until now, Paul has faced fighters with MMA backgrounds, but Pereira is different. Not only is he a top MMA fighter, but he is also a former kickboxing world champion known for his knockout power. Unlike some of Paul's previous opponents, Pereira's striking credentials are elite and he has proven his ability to knock out even the toughest opponents. A loss to Pereira, especially in a one-sided fashion, could hurt Paul's credibility as a boxer. Up to this point, Paul has managed to maintain a sense of legitimacy by winning his previous fights, but a defeat at the hands of Pereira could lead to questions about whether Paul is truly capable of competing at a high level in boxing. Second, the financial stakes are significant. A fight between Jake Paul and Alex Pereira would undoubtedly generate massive interest, leading to a big payday for both fighters. Paul has been very successful in monetizing his fights, and a bout with Pereira would likely be no different. However, if Paul loses, especially in a knockout, it could diminish his marketability for future fights. While Paul has built his brand on being the underdog and taking on challenges, a devastating loss to someone as dangerous as Pereira could make it harder for him to attract the same level of attention and pay-per-view buys in the future. Another factor at play is the potential long-term impact on Paul's career trajectory. If Paul were to defeat Pereira, it would be a monumental achievement and it would silence many of his critics who have questioned his legitimacy as a boxer. Furthermore, a fight with Pereira would also have implications for Paul's relationship with the UFC and its president, Dana White. In the end, if Jake Paul takes on Alex Pereira, it could be the biggest challenge of his career yet. A win could skyrocket his reputation, but a loss could shake things up for him big time. Either way, it's going to be one fight you won't want to miss. Will Paul prove his doubters wrong, or will Pereira's power be too much for him? Stay tuned, because we'll keep you updated on everything as the story develops. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on the latest news, fight analysis, and reactions. There's plenty more to come.